Hello, we continue with our tutorial and today's topic is homing. But before we begin, I suggest that you also check the first four part because now we are pulling off with our application and the knowledge and it would be good that you pass first four tutorials that we can easily continue on this one. Let's first change certain things that we already changed on the previous video where we explained move absolute. So what we will do is change axis from linear to modulo axis 360. Then next we need to use certain function block and for homing we need to use MC home. So let's create our instance MC home axis 0 1 F2 search MC home. Let's call this instance in our motion FBs. F2 instance call. Let's put it in line. And align mandatory field is axis as always and that's it now let's enter our visualization let's add frame mc home now for next steps we would need also some other information and this information is drives actual and reference position and also axis target position why we are doing this just to show you that mc home is operation which is done in the drive it's not something that it's done in the axis so we'll use this text field let's copy paste and let's adapt them to our variables so drive ref pos this is going to be referent position percentage d because double and this information is located in axis dot di set position and i will show you how you can see that this is corresponding to real drives position. Now let's copy paste. Let's change this ref to act, which should be actual. And here set is act position. Let's go to toolbox. And let's add a frame. Now we will add one really nice object. It's called rot drive. And this will display our target position of the axis. Reference is axis. And also we can display text. Let's put percentage F as a float. Let's change the font color to put it black and maybe increase the size to 14 text variable it's going to be axis dot f set position and now to explain the homing so homing procedure is in fact quite complicated mainly because the drive needs to execute this that means that plc needs to change the operating mode in the drive to homing execute command for homing drive needs to execute complete homing set his own position at the same time axis needs to set its position and then plc needs to change again operating mode back to the previous state which was csp or cyclic synchronous positioning and that's why now we need also 
to check certain parameters in the drive regarding homing. Let's go to the manual. In the manual, we can find homing under operating states and modes, operating state or mode homing. And here we can click on parameterization. And here we see that first parameter that we need to adjust is homing method. Let's scroll down. And homing method has a very big amount of different homing methods, but majority of those are using either limit switch or reference switch, and we don't have anything wired to our drive. So what we will use is one of those index poles. And let's say that we will use homing method 34, which is index pulse to positive direction. Index pulse is one pulse inside one rotation of the motor encoder. Next parameter that is very interesting is the position of the home. So let's find this parameter and see what is the factory setting. Okay, here it is. Position at reference point. After successful reference movement, this position is automatically set at the reference point and the factory setting is zero. We will not touch it, but let's just remember that at the end of the homing, drive position is going to be zero. Just to have it equal, we will also use zero position for our axis. Now let's go to our reference movement to the index pulse to see homing method 34 is what we choose. And we see here that the velocity of searching the index pulse is going to be with this parameter. Let's find this parameter. We can see that it's here. We scroll down and we find it here on page 331. This is the velocity and it's 6. What is 6 means? It's user velocity units and by default user velocity units are RPM. So drive will search for the index pulse with 6 RPMs. We will see that it's fairly a slow movement. Let's go back to codices. We have our application and now we need to change the homing method. We go to our drive, startup parameters, and then we add additional parameter, which is homing method. And we want to use value 34. And now we can log in into our PLC. And now you can see that our drive is at certain position with ref and ac and we also see that the axis is also somewhere inside 360 degrees. What we want to do is execute homing and see what will happen. First enable the drive. And let's remember that the drive will now change the operating mode. In fact, PLC will change the operating mode in the drive. Execute homing. Homing will be done. At that point, the drive position is going to be set to zero. Our axis will also be set to zero because we here we put zero. And then the operating mode will be changed back to CSP or cyclic synchronous position. PLC will also do that part. Let's see what will happen. Homing is done. Let's remove. And now we see that in fact, we do not have zero. We have some value, which is 61 for target position. But also we see that the, our axis is not at zero. This is because during the operating change back from homing to CSP, we have one iterate cycle where this is done. And during that time, the axis is moving without any proper control. And also there is an influence of motor cogging. And to prove now that in fact the homing is done correctly, we should move our axis really to zero to see what is going to be a drive position. Let's 
execute move absolute with certain values, but we will send this to a position zero. And we here see that our axis is really at position zero. Our target position to a drive is really zero and actual is cogging around zero, which is perfectly normal because this is the position which is recalculated from the encoder. Let me show you where you can see this. So you go to a drive and here, if we compare, we can see the target position is zero and the actual position is around minus one. Let's move our axis to, for example, 10 and see how much it will change. Here we can see 364, 3641. And now additional point, if we execute MC set position to zero, what is going to change? We see that our axis is at zero, but our drive is at its previous position. Now this is the difference between homing and setting position of the axis. That's it for today. I hope you find this interesting. If you do, please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video where we will continue with jog function. Thank you. Bye.